Well, I guess you guys know where to come for dance moves. That's me. So subscribe for more. Okay. <laughs>Hello, welcome back. I'm super excited to show you guys this jumpsuit tutorial. It's really simple. Um, if you have a pair of mom jeans and a shirt and some patience and you're willing to follow along, I'm gonna show you the pattern in this video. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to sew it. I'm making this jumpsuit out of the wonderful, beautiful, light, airy, summery pencil. It's easy breezy beautiful. Okay, people. Let's get started. Here I am showing you my design. It's very simple, straight lines. I'm going to do a fringed edge on the sleeve and a fringed edge also on the sash that I make with pockets and a mid-length bicep sleeves. So to create the entire pattern, I'm going to create a block from these two garments, mom jeans and a shirt. Make sure there's no stretch. So I'm taking the front shirt and I'm just tracing around where I can trace. And where I can't trace around, I'm going to just lay that out flat and take a pointy tool that's going to poke through the fabric without ruining it and transfer those marks onto the page. That's an all there. And this is your front shirt body. Adding a grain line there. I'm now going to copy out the back yoke, so that top piece. I'm just gonna lay it out flat and transfer it to the paper. Then I'm going to do a line half an inch down just to separate it and trace out the back bottom area. Now you'll see that the shoulder seam is quite a bit forward on a shirt. That's normal. They, when making shirts, the shoulder seam is moved forward. I'm not actually sure of the reason, but I'm just taking that one inch off the back and transferring it to the front and then just smoothing it out, deepening the back neckline a bit, and then just cutting off that jutted out edge. For the sleeve, you're just going to fold at the shoulder seam, nice and flat, and then trace it out. I'm not tracing the cuff because you don't really need that. And if you actually wanted to copy this shirt, you can copy out the cuff and the collar and the collar stand and really transfer everything if you really want to have a shirt pattern. But this is just a block, it's to show us how it's going to help us make other shirts like it um, that are much more simple. I'm just going to do a few adjustments to it. So there's your shirt sleeve. A single notch means that it's the front, a double notch is the back. This is very standard for the fashion industry. So here again, we have to also move this notch back because we moved the shoulder to the front. So now we're going to move the shoulder notch to the back. I hope that makes sense. Just trust me on this. If it doesn't, if you really think about it, it'll make sense. So that's now the new shoulder notch. It's one inch towards the back now. Now I'm taking the front of the pant and I'm laying all the seams flat and then just tracing around it. I'm disregarding the waistband 
I'm not going to create a separate waistband, I'm just going to trace right around it because we're just creating a very simple pant. I'm going to fill in those lines, mimic that curve at the top, and that's the front pant. For the back pant, usually you're going to need a dart in the back pant. So because we're going to add width to the hip, we're not going to try to create a dart in this one. We're just going to copy it as is, and then um, we'll add the width later on. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Because usually the back will need a dart. You'll need extra length and then adding a dart to create that shape. Otherwise, you'll it just won't fit. <laughs> it won't fit at the waist, it won't fit in the bum. And that's no fun. Okay, so I'm looking at my shirt and seeing where it matches up with the top of the waistband and I'm just marking it there because we're going to measure that later and transfer it to the pattern. I did it to the side and the back as well just to just so I can double check later but really I only need the front length. And also this is what I was talking about. The, see how the shoulder seam is forward? You just want to move it back by one inch. So there you see how far forward it is. That's more of a normal shoulder seam. Adjusting the length and then you'll see these diagonal lines on the sleeve. That can be corrected with by adding um, one inch to the top of the sleeve. So I'm going to do that. It's optional but I'm just going to do it for a nicer look. So this is what the front of your jumpsuit top is going to be. There's going to be a seam down the middle and this is going to be the back. But we're going to um, attach it to the bottom so there's no seam at the waist. So here's the top. I'm tracing it out, marking the neckline. It was about two inches over and five inches down. I'm adding my seam allowance at a half inch everywhere and then a quarter inch at the necklines. And no seam, no seam allowance at the bottom. Grain line. And then for the back, I'm marking the side length of the back, matching it up, tracing it out. And you have to do the same um, neckline as the front where it meets at the shoulder so that the shoulder width is the same on the back and front. Add your seam allowance. I actually end up changing my back neckline to a V, so I'll show you that in a second. Cut it out and there they are, except I'm going to change the back seam, back neckline, sorry. So this is how I create the facing. You trace out the front area and make sure you mark where the shoulder and the center front is and then add an inch all around. This is going to create a nice clean um, finish. Also, what you're going to do is take off the seam allowance. I'm not showing you here. You're going to take off the seam allowance at the center front and the center back, nowhere else, because we're going to put it on fold. Those are how they match up, except, again, take off the center front and center back seam allowance. You'll see here how I'm changing the neckline on the back, and then I'm going to show you the facing again, tracing it out. But this time here, I'm taking off that front seam allowance, or back seam allowance, sorry, just in the center back. And that's gonna be on fold. Shoulder, and that's how it lines up with a fold there at the center back. For the sleeve, we're just gonna trace out that block Transfer all the markings, the grain line, the grain line, and then I'm going to add that one inch at the top. This is going to make it a little harder to put the sleeve in because we're going to have to kind of gather the top so that it goes in, uh, but it creates a really nice sleeve. I shorten my sleeve, make sure the side seams are going to be the same, 
and then I'm adding my half inch seam allowance and then one and a half inch at the bottom. When I cut this out for the bottom hem, I'm gonna fold back the bottom hem and just make sure that it lines up with the side seams of the sleeve so that when you're folding it up in real life, it's not gonna be too short at the top. There it is. Now for the pants, woo! So I'm tracing out the back. Start with the back first because if you don't, it's gonna get really messed up. I had to do this so many times. So what I'm doing is making sure that the grain line on the pant and the grain line on the top piece is parallel. And then I'm gonna just extend that crotch line down and make it straight with the top back piece. Extend the side seam. And then I'm also gonna add half an inch just, I mean uh, an inch to the top of the waistband just to um, give some ease in the crotch because you don't want it going up your butt all the time, you know what I'm saying? I'm widening the leg and then I'm going to add all of my half inch seam allowance and 1.5 inch to the hem. Going to do very similar for the front, but we're going to use the back to um, for reference. So I'm taking this back piece, lining up the bottom hem and the top side seam, and then marking that new height on the side seam right there. I'm going to mark that, and then that's where my front top piece is going to line up. <clears throat> so again, making it parallel to the bottom green line, extending that crotch line down. Then I'm going to add my seam allowance, my 1.5 on the bottom. I'm going to make the inseam there the same as the, the back piece. And then add all my seam allowance. And that's the front pant. Now you want to add the front or the tops to the bottoms and eliminate the seam allowance there. That's why we didn't add seam allowance to the top pieces. Just tape it on, tape it together. Now I'm gonna make the pocket. So I start with a six inch line, go down three inches, over seven inches, and over one inch. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you a picture of this later. And then I just continue all those lines, connect all the dots, basically. Then I wanna add half inch seam allowance all the way around, and mark notches just half inch from the top and bottom. That's where it's gonna line up with the pant. The grain line is going to be parallel to the side seam of the jumpsuit pocket. So now on the jumpsuit, you're going to mark two inches down from the waistline, six or uh, two notches that are six inches apart. So the top notch is going to be two inches from the waistline. Now I'm just suggesting that you take some fabric that you don't care too much about and test the fit. I'm actually really surprised and amazed that this turned out like I thought it was really ugly but it's actually nice. What'd you think? Was that fun? Was that cool? I hope it was because the next video I'm going to show you how to sew it and we're going to have a lot of fun uh, once again. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit that little bell button beside the subscribe thing because that's going to let you be notified when my videos are posted. Um, leave a comment, let me know what you think, let me know what you want to see, what DIYs you want me to do. Um, because I'm open to ideas. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by and saying hello. <laughs> Goodbye.
I like to sew. I like to sew. I like to sew. So I like to sew. So I like to sew. So I like to sew. I like to sew.